Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we are installing the brand new, the most anticipated, most wanted Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle in Olin's suspension for my 2021 Rogue Glide. So, huge shout out to Harley for sending these out to me. I've been waiting a very, very long time for these. Um, super cool. So, right before we hop in the video, just want to talk about um, the idea and where this whole suspension idea came from um, as you know King of the Baggers has been blowing up in the past few years and this is where that collaboration was molded at is because of King of the Baggers that we have the Screaming Eagle and Olin's um, collaboration and now we have this awesome suspension which we're going to put on the bike um, but yeah it's, uh, it's pretty cool man that you know King of the Baggers opening up doors um, new products amazing products like this are being made because of these races so I cannot wait to see what else on the road um, the Screaming Eagle team is going to be uh, producing and as well as the other uh, markets out there. There's, there's a, a ton of stuff right now people are doing to these bikes. These performance bikes. Like this performance bagger. It's not a performance bagger. What is it? Come here, man. Peanuts is here too. He's just shy and Jerry's here. And so someone else. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? So if it's not a performance bagger, what is it that we have? It's a performance looking bagger. So that's, yeah. that's, that's what we're going for, man. Um, yeah, listen, we're going we're gonna to be adding some performance parts into this bike later on, all right? So just hold on tight. It's a ton of stuff that we got still planned for it. Um, but we already went ahead. Well, I went ahead. Thanks a lot, guys. This guy went ahead and brought me this scissor jack that I needed, so thank you. Jerry came in here very angry today, but that's why he's not in the picture right now. You're in timeout, Jerry. Jerry's in timeout. Change your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I already went ahead and I installed the other side, so we're gonna show you guys how to install this part. Um, we're also gonna be installing the docking hardware, which I didn't have on this bike. So, huge shout out to Sergio. Um, Who? From Ber what? Sergio from Bergen Harley Davidson. So, if you're in the local area, visit Bergen Harley Davidson. You wanna, you wanna give yourself a shout out real quick? You wanna say hi? <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish installing this because we're all hungry and we're about to head down to Nino's to get, get some Angry. pizza and pasta at South Shop. So yeah, very easy install guys. Um, like I said, I have it on my lip right now. It's tied down. The scissor jack is a little bit pumped up. Uh, so what we're going to do first, well, first of all, I already went ahead and I took off the other suspension that was here. So what we're going to drop in first is the uh, docking hardware, uh, which is going to slip through right in there nice and easy. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put on our docking hardware in just like this. Um, and then Harley provides us with these spacers, which we're gonna put in there just in place. We're gonna start with the first one first. Then we're gonna take our mounting bracket right here, which I already went ahead and put together real simple. Uh, I love the instruction, put the screws on, two pieces go together. So this screw goes in through here, through the mounting bracket and through the uh, docking hardware. And then you're all set. We just go ahead and put some little uh, little Loctite on here. More Loctite. Sir Penis, if you do me the honors and hold it in there while I put it in. Hey, yo. Oh. Repeat the same step, guys. So, spacer, bracket, then the bolt. Don't forget to add a little Loctite on there as well. Just a little smidge. A little smidge. This is probably gonna it's probably gonna be the part that'll take you the longest because literally putting on the shock is gonna be real simple after this. And now we have here this special little thing. Look how pretty this is right here. So we got the Screaming Eagle and Olin's uh, logo right there in the front. Things gonna look sick. I really like the way Harley Davidson kind of designed this uh, bracket right here because the way it just sits there just looks really really cool. You guys know I had the legends on it before and the canisters are like right here on top. Um, so the way this was laid out, it just, to me, just flows a little bit better with the bike and it makes everything look just a little bit nicer, more aggressive. So we'll put the canister in through there. Put this in through here. And that's it. All we need is our stock bolts, which uh, we're going to use. And then they provide two washers for us as well which we'll put through. Now really quick before we dive into the rest of the video, I wanna talk a little bit more about the product and how this whole project came about. So like I was mentioning before, uh, Screaming Eagle, Harley Davidson teamed up with Olin's to develop this 
awesome suspension right here. So it's designed by Olin's, but it's tuned specifically for the King of the Baggers bikes on the racetrack. So the, these are actual parts. These are actual shocks, suspension that the racing team actually uses on the racetrack, which is pretty awesome. So talking about performance, I know every time we talk about performance bagger, we still have, we talk about torque and horsepower and, and everything, but we sometimes forget to mention that part of performance has a lot to do with your suspension, right? So diving into those twisties, into those corners at very high speeds, you kind of want a suspension that's gonna be able to stabilize your bike keep you upright exactly how you want to be not giving you a wobble bouncy feel you want a shock and you want a suspension that you're able to adjust at any time especially if one day you're out riding by yourself the next day you're out riding with the tour pack in the back the day after that you're gonna have a tour pack and a passenger you're gonna always want to tweak and adjust your preload and your sag depending on what type of weight you're gonna have on your bike now like i was saying it's pretty awesome that the king of the baggers uh races are just taken off they're you know they're becoming a, this big huge thing and then we are definitely as consumers we have the option now to have stuff like this on our bikes stuff like this that the racers are actually using on the racetrack it's it's pretty awesome to me so i cannot wait to see more and more cool products drip out of that whole little realm over there now another important factor you got to know is that you don't need any type of special tools to adjust your preload or adjust any sag on this bike literally you have the option up here and then down below underneath the shock which all you need to do is take off your bag and you have easy access to that right there as well now beyond performance let, let's talk about my favorite part i'm more of a detail guy i like to make my bike look really nice and these uh exposed canisters here just give your bike a more of aggressive look they look nice they look very very high end um i mean we got screaming eagle and olens together so it's top 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 of the line for both um it just makes a bike look really badass man it looks really cool um and it definitely sparks up a conversation anywhere you pull up uh to a motorcycle event it definitely you know turns the heads around when they see that bike turn like whoa like what's what's that about right there you know um, so pretty good. I'm really happy with this. Um, let's just talk about one last thing. Let's talk about the pricing. And this is going to come at $1,477 for the pair right here, which is not bad compared to the competition, uh, compared to whatever else is out there. Um, high quality stuff for a good price. And is going to make your bike perform better, look better. I mean, this bike just looks fast just standing here. So it's, it's, it looks like it's about to take a 90 degree corner at 160 miles just like the Wyman brothers so you are going to use two washers on top and nothing in the bottom so you're going to use your stock bolt plus a washer on this side and then a washer on the inside two on this side and then two more on the other shock tomorrow um i'm gonna take the bike out i'm gonna adjust the sag the rebound and everything on here so for now i just want to get everything on sit on the bike see how it feels um and then yeah we'll, we'll give you guys a follow-up on sag and everything and how what settings i set it up um that's pretty much it after this we just put your bags on but yeah they look great give you guys some little cinematic shots Like I always say, I am nowhere near a mechanic because Sergio said, let the professionals do it. But listen, if I could do it, you could definitely do it as well. Love these things. I cannot wait to take them out on the road. I definitely want to give you guys experience um, comparing it to the legends that I had on before. Um, yeah, Screaming Eagle and Olin's, you guys have done a pretty, pretty cool thing here.
Like always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so I notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Is it? <laughs> then I'll spoil y'all. Perfect boy.